Hi, welcome to my section on how to install Storefront. In this lecture, I'll show you how to install and set up Storefront by WooThemes. Go to your WordPress dashboard. Under Appearance, go to Themes and type Storefront in the search bar. Hit Install and activate the theme. You'll see the Storefront welcome screen. The screen will show you other storefront themes and extensions that you can download. Some of these child themes and extensions are paid extensions. You don't need to install anything else from the storefront welcome screen. To make design changes to your site, go to Appearance, then Customize. Take a look at the front end of your store. Open Visit Site. The front end currently shows you the home page, which consists of the default sample post page when you first install WordPress. The WooThemes storefront documentation is a good resource to review when you have a moment. I've included a link to the documentation in the resources section of this lecture. Review the storefront live demo. This demo includes an install of the WooCommerce dummy data. In this course, I won't be installing the dummy data. I'll show you how to set up your t-shirts in the next section. Set up your menus. Go to Appearance, then Menus. You'll create a new menu and call it Primary. Save your menu. You can go to Manage Locations to assign your menus. For the primary menu, I'll select Primary. Save your changes. Create a secondary menu. Go to Manage Locations and set up your secondary menu. You can also manage your menus in the Customizer. Click on Manage in Customizer. Select the primary menu. In the Menu Options, select Automatically Add New Top-Level Pages to this menu. Do the same thing for the secondary menu, then later you can make changes to these menus. Click on Save and Publish. Next, you'll create the home page. Go to Pages and Add New. Enter home page for the name of the page. Under Page Attributes, go to Template and select Home Page. Click on Publish and view the new page. You can see the two menu items we created. The upper right menu is the secondary menu. The primary menu is just below the logo. Now you can set the home page to be the static page. Go to Settings and then Reading. In the front page displays, select the static page. For the front page, select the home page you just created and save your changes. Your home page should be empty now. Go to Appearance and customize to make some changes to the site header. Go to Header. Scroll down to the background color. I'll change the color to a purple, as this is the color I'm using for my t-shirt site. You may want to change it to something else. I'll change the text color to white. For now, I'll change the link color to a light gray. When you're done, click on Save and Publish. Go to the front end to see your new color changes. In the next video, you'll install WooCommerce.